<laughs> Name something that makes your heart beat faster. Anger. Huh? Anger. <laughs> anger. 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 Here we go. Name the worst thing. That... Why did he have to say anger like that? He can just say anger. He was angry while saying it. Anger. 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 <laughs> All right. Could it happen at a wedding? Go. Name the worst thing that could happen at a wedding. No food, Steve. No food at yeah, the wedding. I'm not going to. I'm not going to a uh, no way. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not going to no wedding without any food. Why would there be a wedding without food? Hmm. Y'all got to pay attention to the question now. What's the worst thing could happen at a wedding? Yeah. You know, good and no damn food. well ain't no food at the wedding. So yes. why is there no food at the wedding? Food is at the reception. Name the worst thing that could happen at a wedding. There is no pasta. That would be bad too. Pasta is not there. That would be pretty bad too. I just told y'all, look, at a wedding you don't have food at the wedding. There's no what? food at the wedding. No, like the... Pasta. How do I put this? The pasta. Preacher. The like preacher. Oh, the preacher. Oh. <laughs> 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 Ghanaians. Everybody from Ghana, come here. Come here real quick, Ghana. Come, come closer. It's pastor. Pastor. Hmm? Pastor. Or if you want to be very American, pastor. But it's pastor. Eh? It's not pasta. Pasta is food. Pasta is food. Look at how you're making these Americans to be laughing at you. Not us. Because I'm not involved. Ghanaians, I'm talking to you. It's pastor. Eh? Pastor. All right. Let's move on. I cannot be wrong because it's my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is no pasta. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> pasta is not a wedding food. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Preacher. Okay, there is no pastor. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's no. <laughs> anger. <laughs> anger. Anger. <laughs> anger. Angry. Anger. When you're angry. Oh, angry. Oh. Anger. Anger. Ah, anger. Anger. <laughs> anger. <laughs> Shut your damn mouth. Anger. <laughs> Only one strike, Carlton. Here we go. He must be Nigerian because Nigerians speak with, you know, authority. If really the Igbo people, anger, they are going to, you know, um, and I'm not trying to, I cannot do a Nigerian accent, but, you know, they speak with confidence. They don't, they're not ashamed of anything or afraid of anything. Same with Kenyans. Kenyans would speak with their full chest and their accent anywhere they go. A lot of my people, when they come to this country, when I say my people, I mean Cameroonians. They try to um, code switch a lot, way too, way more than almost any other African country. And I don't like it. Speak, be natural, be yourself. Eh? Cameroonians, I'm talking to you, come here. Cameroonian girls in Maryland, come here. Cameroonian girls in Texas, come. Speak in your natural accent. Eh? Nobody is, they will understand you very well. You don't have to change the way you talk for people to understand you. Just speak a little slower. Try to enunciate, enunciate, enunciate. People will understand you. All right, let's go. Oh man, name a place where you might get in trouble if you laugh. At the dentist? <laughs> it's really crazy, I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. If you laugh at it. <laughs> I have laughed at a dentist before. Something about my gums, I don't know what. And my, it's like, it's ticklish to me. I don't know if anybody experiences 
So I have laughed at a dentist before, and uh, they never find it funny. But like, I don't know. If you're touching my mouth in there, I'm gonna laugh. Let me ask you a question, Charlie. I'm assuming you've been to the dentist before. <laughs> what the hell was funny <laughs> at your damn dentist? I just told you. You know, touching my inside. Well, pause, pause, pause. The inside of my mouth. Putting, when you put things in the inside of my mouth. Pause, pause. When you're inserting objects in my mouth. Oh, when you're putting fingers in my mouth. All right. Whenever you're doing dentist stuff in my mouth. It's, it sometimes it's ticklish, okay? Don't blame me for being ticklish. Yeah. You're laying back. He got his hand in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> if you have been waiting for the right moment to chip in, it's here right now. Hell no. Polling shows we are the underdog in a number of Hell key battleground no. states. Hell no. You don't need and my Donald money. Donald Trump and his allies are pouring money into you this race. You definitely don't need to my try money. And pull ahead. I can tell you that. This is the time to roll up our sleeves and do the work to win. And in a close race decided by a small number of votes, your support Lady, will make Lady, I am not giving difference. you my money. Anything you can give right now will go along. I will way. not give you, you my money. Please take care. Because you are sending my money to Ukraine and other countries, and you want me to give you my Move out of here. Say pitch in. I will not. I'll pitch out. Can I pitch out? I need you to give me money. <laughs> Marshall, fill in the blank. People love it when someone massages their blank. Your head. Mm -mm. Their shoulders. Yeah, shoulders. When someone massages their head. Oh, see? Okay. No. Yeah. That shoulder. I don't know why I said head, too. I should. It's, why did I say head? Do we all think the same? All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My mind was somewhere else. Riddick, fill in the blank, man. You guys have no strikes. Man, we rolling. People love it when someone massages their blank. I know how, how best to say this. But when you someone, know, you know I, I know how, you know, how to put it together. You know, but I think you don't know how to put what together. The word I'm about to say. Oh, the word. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Well, let me get out the way. Yeah. <laughs> He's about to say I'm something let you naughty. Be over here by yourself. Say something very naughty. Go ahead, Riddick. Really. People love it when someone massages their, their. What? What did, in the blank, what did he say? What the, the, did he say? Like. I guess private regions or something. Censor it out. YouTube censors out everything. When someone massages their blank. People love it when someone massages their yeah. What? <laughs> Top eight answers are on the board. All right. I'm going to get it before Give then. me a reason why someone would lift their leg. To walk. Uh, or do stretches or something to walk or kick your your neighbor in the not your neighbor somebody that is owing you money somebody that is owing you money kick them in the face yes or kick somebody who is watching your video and refusing to subscribe you kick their you kick now not kick them I will just allow them to go by peacefully because I'm a man of peace I'm a man of peace I don't like trouble all right. They're tired. They're tired. I get tired. I just lift my leg up. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. How is to walk not the first thing that comes to your mind? Uh, <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Because they tired. <laughs> Neo. When they're doing a dance move. When they yeah. We are Shaki D. Bobo. When I'm a Ferrari Bobo. The fly to Paris, a bubble. Hmm. One leg, eh? One leg, eh? If you're dancing one leg, eh? you, use, you lift your one, one leg. One leg, eh? Dunk it. A bounce it. A bounce it. One leg. One leg, eh? Hey! <laughs> one leg. One leg. What? You cannot see my leg, but I'm lifting it. I can assure you, I'm lifting my leg. They're doing a dance move. <laughs> oh, yeah, shocky, the shocky. When I did mean attack, yeah, yo, when are they mean a second in your G? Oh, Skeleu, Skeleu. And all these ones that I'm actually dancing, you don't even lift your left, your leg to dance, Skeleu. Oh, Shocky. Yeah. 
Do the dance, smooth. Mm. How is to walk? Let's go, Marshall. Not one Evan. of the answers. Huh? Evan. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Evan. Oh, okay, I got you. What was yeah. the question? I forgot the question, so I didn't know what the hell you was talking about. <laughs> I said, okay, Marsha Evan. This is it, Jordan. Name a language you are likely to hear in Accra. Twi. In Accra, Accra, Accra is Ghana, right? Yeah, Twi. I don't know if they've said it already, but that's the only Ghanaian language that I know. Also, English. Also, Pigeon. Huh? A what now? A kid I what? I said, name a language you are likely to hear in Accra. What I heard him say was, it could happen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could. It could happen, but I'm pretty sure that's not what he said. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure that's not what it was. So one more time, say it again. It could happen. <laughs> Sounds even more like no, that. It could happen. That's what he said. Yeah, he said it could happen. That's what he, just said. he said it could happen. Maybe, maybe not, but there's a possibility yeah. it could happen. It could happen. Tabiso. Tabiso? Yes. What do you do for a living, man? No, I work in the food manufacturing industry. Of course you do. <laughs> You definitely work in the food consumption, mm, mm, food manufacturing industry. And my brother, don't be offended. Yeah, my brother. We all work in the money, food uh, consumption industry. It's just that like you have longer hours. <laughs> you have longer hours than the rest of us. <laughs> when, we are, when we are manufacturing, you are consuming. Yeah, my brother. <laughs> And the maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> you like to make. <laughs> you gonna know this. I'm in Africa, right? Yes. I'm here. Where? Yeah. South Africa. What dish do I have to try? Bunny. Jollof rice. You have to try. Jo mm -mm. No, wait, hold on. Ndole. Mm -mm. Watafufu and iru. Cameroonian dish. Watafufu and iru. Oh, achu. Actually, fufu, fufu con and jamanjama. You have to try that one. There's a lot of meals that you have to try. Oh. A lot of meals. Yeah? But if you don't want to try all of that, at least jollof. Try jollof. It's easy on the palate. Even foreigners can enjoy it. It's like Spanish rice. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Mexican rice. Very uh, palatable for the consumption. Chow. A what? Bunny chow. Bunny chow. Yeah. Bunny chow. <laughs> Sounds like something uh, a bunny rabbit will do. And a barracks, oh, sorry, a barracks bunny. Is that we, how we used to call them in the army? Bunny chow sounds something. That's all right. Bunny chow. I'll wait for them to explain. Let me know if you want to try it. Well, I can organize one for you. Okay, but tell me what the bunny chow is. Okay, uh, it's your bread. Then there's bread. 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 A bread. Bread, yeah. yeah. <laughs> bread. Bread. <laughs> Not bread. 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 It's bread. And that's how, I mean, that's how I've always said bread too. Bread. It's just re recently that I started saying bread. And it sounds like a lot of work. Bread. Bread. <laughs> bread. Bread. No. It's simple. Bread. Bread. You don't, you don't stress. Bread. 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 Yeah. yeah, simple bread. It's just one B, some bread. one R. I've heard some Americans pronounce it like that. Some bread, some bread. Like I've, there's a lot of accents in the US too. So don't sound like you're shocked at people pronouncing bread wrongly. I've heard all kinds of pronunciations of coffee. 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 <laughs> coffee. Oh, you bread, y'all. Yeah. Bread. 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 Okay. Bread. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Bread. Yeah. In the States, but here it's bread. It's bread. Yeah. Okay. So there's your bread. It's very adamant. It's bread. That's like three or four hours in there. It's not one hour. It's not B-R-E-A-D. It's B-R-R-R-R-R. -R 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 -R. Bread. Bread. 
then you have your polonio of rice, cheese. then cheese. Wait a minute. It's like bread and then some french fries. Yeah, yeah. starch on starch. Bread and then french, <laughs> that's what, that's what. <laughs> Nobody said french fries, he said fries. It could be yeah, British, <laughs> South African fries. Nobody said French fries. Bread and French fries, <laughs> and you work in a food manufacturing plant. Food consumption. He, he consumes the food. This guy is no manufacturing. We work in the same place. Eh? He just works longer hours than me. I, I manufacture and he consumes. And I know this guy. I remember him. <laughs> so I got bread, <laughs> french fries. What else? And your polony then. Your ham sometimes. Cheese, yeah. Bologna. 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 Then yeah, bologna. Acha. Yeah. Okay. And then what? Acha. Acha. Yeah. So you got it's bread. Your mango. Yeah, you mango salad, bread, something like you that. You got a, oh, french fries. And then you got what? What your acha, your cheese. Your cheese. Yeah, sometimes ham, eggs. Wait a minute, man. Cheese, <laughs> french fries, and bread? Yeah. Oh, not to forget ham and eggs. You really need to get one. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. You get about. that and a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's healthy. Yeah, you eat that, <laughs> you're going to die. If you keep eating that, you're going to die. Nobody's told you this. Clogged arteries, bread, cheese, french fries, archie. <laughs> he'll be fine. I think he'll be it fine. Work. You must don a wig when you go there. Go on a wig. I don't want to wear a wig. I like having a bald head. <laughs> you got to shave your damn head. <laughs> Maybe you should put on a wig. You don't want to wear no wig. Nah, when you he have said it proper, too. He said you must don a wig. Almost like it's uh, PPE, like gloves and a mask. Dawn. I only use that word when we're talking about PPE. And PPE is personal protective equipment. Wife, she is the boss. Amen. I don't know why that is. <laughs> She's the boss. She is. She's not a good system. She always is the boss. Yeah. It is. It, it, it is. Um, we are a happy family. <laughs> it, it, it is that way. Yeah. Let's leave it that way. <laughs> yeah, happy family. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that man. Are you married? That man has been given the sauce. He does not want to contradict his wife whatsoever. <laughs> As a happy family, indeed. Happy wife, happy life. It's kind of complicated. <laughs> How is that complicated? Are you married? Yes or no? Hi, Africans will answer question. Oh. The actual question say you don't marry. My brother, you don't marry. Answer, yes, I don't marry. No, I never marry. Simple. No, 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 no. It's complicated. What is it, what is complicated about that question? Well, I'm going to leave that alone. Please this is your best alone. friend. Yes, yeah, she is. Eva. Yes. Let me, I'm just seeing what's... Does Eva know Dennis? <laughs> she does. Oh, okay. So... So when I asked Dennis, was he married, and Dennis said it was complicated, mm. are you the complication? Don't know what none of that means. <laughs> <laughs> Name something you do when you're naked and home alone. Uh, watch movies. No, shower. Yeah, watch movies. I would be dancing around. Dancing around. Okay, but around, dancing baby. around naked. That's crazy. Why would you be dancing around naked? Stand up, Dancing around naked. That's new. That's a new one. All right. We we'll take it. Yes, yes, that's it. That's it right there. Be that's, that's my naked dance. Good, good. What do you do? I'm an engineer. I program a CNC machine. That cuts bullets of steel. No, but what is the bullet, though? A bullet is like <laughs> the bullet, the like bullet. A bullet of steel can be something like a that. A piece of steel. Yes. yes. Okay. What? A bullet of steel? I thought I thought he was talking about pallet. A bullet. A ball a bullet of I don't know what I yeah, and I am African, so <laughs> that's the example that we are not all the same. I can't understand him either.
Peace. And I am as African as they come. Okay. See, see, see over here, see you. Peace is a bullet. Let me have a bullet of that pie. I would like a bullet of booty. I just want a piece. Okay, child, name something you do when you're naked and home alone. You cook like the naked chef. You cook. You cook naked? What if, what if oil, like, you know, cooked, uh, frying oil, whatever I did, is hot oil. What if it spills on, you know, your particulars? What if your particulars get burned? And what if your credentials are injured in the process? Are you not afraid that you will injure your credentials? My brother, come here. Come here. It is not safe to do that. It is not safe to cook naked. You will injure your credentials. You will injure your particulars. Don't do it. Don't do it. Naked. <laughs> Charlton, <laughs> you cook naked. Yeah, if you're home alone, why not? I just told you why. You are going to injure your particulars. <laughs> your credentials will be involved. Eh? That hot oil like that, if it touches your 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 induendo areas, if it touches your your nether regions, eh? You will start dancing Makosa out in the street. You dance Makosa to the fridge to find ice. Eh? You dance Makosa all the way to the emergency room. Don't do it. I'm telling you, that's setting you up. Well, the food don't taste better like that. Food know? don't taste better when you cook. You ever fried chicken naked? <laughs> you ever? I have not because I don't want to injure my particulars. <laughs> my ingredients and my credentials will remain safe. <laughs> Please and thank you. Fried bacon naked? Hmm. You must not know how to cook. <laughs> you must be frying your chicken in the oven, partner. Because if you on that stove top and you drop that grease in there, pack! Ah, the bullet, the bullet! The See? Bullet. You don't want to burn a bullet of your credentials off. <laughs> You all have no idea <laughs> how much of this is going to go viral. <laughs> <laughs> just me learning y'all's dialect. Yeah, yeah, just Steve Harvey yeah, in Africa. Yeah, that's sure. funny by itself. It did right go there. viral. It did go viral. But I would say that it's not that different. Like, when, I, when a lot of Africans, when we come here, we understand Americans just fine. But we didn't grow up with you, with y'all. So, like, I guess it's just a matter of intention. Like, um, we know we are we we are the ones that have something to gain by being here. So we put more effort into understanding. Like my mother, my mother still my mother speaks English perfectly, still does not understand Americans. She says, you know, y'all speak too fast. But that's because she doesn't, she's not gonna she's not looking for work. She's not trying to live in America or anything. I'm pretty sure if she was interested in living here and working here, then she would have to learn. She would have to learn how to understand Americans and how they talk. So when Steve Harvey goes over to Africa, so South Africa, it would behoove him to learn how they talk. It's not that difficult. It takes you maybe two times, like just paying attention, really listening. Active listening. You understand. But anyways, uh, check out my previous videos. Uh, check out my previous videos. Um, like and subscribe if you want. If you don't want, you know, go and have a beer. Or palm wine. If you have never had palm wine, try it. Raffia wine. One of the best wines in the world. I don't know why I'm doing advert for palm wine. They're not paying me. The gods are not paying me to advertise palm wine. Anyways. See you in the next video. Bye.